Uh, the primary intent was uh, to get out here and actually do a fuel reduction burn. Um, really focused on the lower needle cast, what we have really here, um, which has accumulated about for 12 years on this certain site. This site was actually done, there was a fuels management prescription that was done here almost in 2012. So a lot of this was done in terms of the spacing, the pruning, uh, the thinning, but however the understory component wasn't actually dealt with. So anyway, we've been working on this for most of the winter now, and uh, this came together so we actually did a low intensity burn with the intention of reducing the surface fuels. Um, which can be quite volatile, especially as we get later on to the season, even with a fuels managed stand like this. Um, in many ways, if you don't deal with this kind of fuel accumulation over time, uh, with the increased uh, wind that comes in through these stands and solar heating, it can actually become quite a bit more dangerous. So with this, this is the first burn, but will be a common maintenance burns on a three to five year schedule of this site actually, just because of the needle cast that develops over years. We are within the two kilometer radius of the, the village of Litton itself. There are actually um, structures and houses which are just adjacent across the highway. Um, so that's the community protection piece. Um, and again, a very volatile area where fires burn as they do here. Um, it's a really important component. Also, there's an endangered elk uh, herd that's actually in the Litton area, which has been introduced from outside areas. And this is actually a prime calving ground for them in the spring. So this will reduce, uh, pardon me, this will increase the shrubbery and, and food forage for them basically over the next, well, three to four weeks, basically. So. Yeah. Uh, I never